hi everyone so welcome again so in this live i'm going basically to teach you very important techniques on laptop motherboards we're gonna deal with ices please do you hear me please do members that are present tell me please if you do you hear me if your image is clear okay so i'm going to teach you basically some very important techniques oh sorry sorry uh, do you know nor, nor, normally the, the live is for members channel members but by error i make it public yes this live should be for channel members by just by error i make it public public but no problem okay no problem okay my friends so for the uh, channel members uh, sorry uh, i will make another video for you okay because as i told you by error i i made it public but no problem i cannot switch to members because of the followers that draw right now but don't worry for channel members i will make a special video and we're gonna pass to a special live for you anyway okay no problem uh, the live basically we gonna discuss today a very important topic this stream could be the most important stream in this channel why because we gonna deal with isis okay so let's begin right now here for example let's begin from here we're gonna deal with many ices but without wasting time look please my friends for ices okay as i told you i teach you here how to deal with ices without the data sheet okay for this ic basically i have here some voltage regulators how can i know if these voltage regulators are the component or the regulators that feed the ic how can i know easy by using the continuity option this is just the first step we're gonna go deep and deep a little bit okay by using the continuity option on the multimeter okay so we're gonna just put one probe here okay for the voltage regulator we have always input and output if i put one probe here okay and check the ic look check this side okay nothing check this side okay we get a beep continuity means what means the ic or the voltage regulator is what feeds this ic means if this ic is not feeded or doesn't receive the voltage it's not the problem is not the ic you have to deal with the voltage regulator the voltage regulator could be the failed one okay so let's move on to another ic basically here if you follow me just step by step you're gonna master because if you understand ic's uh, you will understand everything because the most difficult components in every motherboard are, are, are ICs. Look, my friends, uh, do you remember yesterday we talked about coils or inductors and how to know which coils that feed which chip or which circuit? The same basic working principle, but a little bit different. Look, here I have IC, here I have MOSFETs. Okay, this IC is for what exactly? Okay, we have the battery connector here. 
it could be to charge IC, but those MOSFET here, uh, uh, do those MOSFET belong to the same to the same uh, circuit or not? Okay, we can check how always you have to locate the drain or basically the gates because the IC control MOSFETs via the gate. Okay, so if I go to the gate, for example, here we have, as you can see, we have the dot here means these three are source. Here we have the gate. If I put one probe here in the gate, okay, and I go to this IC and do like this, okay, in this side, no bit. Let's check this side. Okay, again. Okay, let me. Okay, all right. Let's check this side also. Oh, do you see, guys? I have a direct connection from the gate here to this IC. Means what? Means this IC control this MOSFET. Okay, let's see with this MOSFET. Here we have drain, four pin connected together. Here we have source. And over here, we have the gate. Oh, here, if you focus, we have even the trees. Do you see? The trees from this side, as you can see, directly to this IC. Do you see? Without even using the multimeter, okay? I can use the multimeter like this. I get beep, you hear? But if you focus, okay, without even using the multimeter, we have, as you can see, we have drain. Do you see? Drain, four pins connected together. This point always refer to the pin number one. So pin number one, pin number two, and pin number three are for what? Are for source. And pin number four, do you see? Do you see? Do you see? Pin number four is isolated. Okay? Is connected. If you follow this trace, connected to this IC. Means this IC is what control this MOSFET and also what control this MOSFET. So please, guys, uh, like. Please don't forget to like to live. If you find the knowledge or the information or these tips are very informative and very important, like you will not waste anything if you hit like. Just you, you basically you help you help the channel. Okay, uh, so another point is that. If I go here to the MOSFETs, basically to the source, this side, okay, because this side is connected to the ground. If I go to this side, uh, put one probe here and go to the battery connector, basically, and check, okay, this side nothing, here nothing, this side. Okay, we have also continuity. Means what? Means this is basically charge circuit, and this is the charge IC, and here we have the two MOSFETs. If, guys, if, for example, you have this kind of motherboard, please don't focus on motherboard, focus on process and on techniques. Because right now, uh, about 21 that follow me, everyone, of you ha has a different computer. I cannot explain in every motherboard for for the motherboard of, or I cannot ex explain all laptops or all motherboards, but I give you the process. So, for example, if you get a no charger laptop, okay, you have to focus on these two MOSFETs. These two MOSFETs, one of them could be failed, could be shortened, or the ice. Okay? And this is the proof. I have direct connection to this MOSFET, and this MOSFET also, as you can see, is controlled by the ice. Okay. Let's move on to another ice. Let's move on to another IC. Here, for example, just I select ICs randomly. Okay, let's, uh, guys, for 
sorry for the charm members that join charm membership. Uh, okay, I will make for you because I program to make for you a separate live video or live stream. After this live, I will directly make another live for you. So uh, we have just now 11 minutes, about 20 minutes. I will stop this public live and my, make another live stream for channel members. Because as I told you, just by error, I select public anyway. And of course, uh, during the week, okay, I, I made or I will make live stream for public for everyone and of course others for channel members. Okay, let's continue. Let's check this one also here. And of course, guys, for anyone who wants to enjoy more exclusive content, you can join. Uh, basically join the channel membership uh, okay there is many uh, tires you can join any tire you want okay this one for example here this one seems to be a CPU circuit easy this one could, uh, okay uh, always remember do I see is always control the MOSFETs via the gate, okay, via the gate, not source, not drain, via the gate. For example, here, let's, for example, check this one. Here we have source, and here we have the gate. Always the gate is alone, okay? If I put one probe here in the gate, like this, and check, basically, this component next basically next to the IC. Okay, let's check those, those here. I should find a beep. Okay. Let me check the multimeter. Okay. Good. Again, let's try this one. Oh, do you see, guys? Gate to this side, we have direct connection means this is to control IC for the MOSFET. It controls this one. Okay, let's check this one here also. Okay, as you see, direct connection. Means what? This is basically the methods or the techniques we use to find or to locate the IC component. We use this technique for all, basically for all circuits. Mice. Even in the input, okay, we can do it even in the input here, okay, in the input, here we have the read probe here, we can know even which component belongs to the input, okay, we have diode, this one seems to be the protection diode, if I put, you see, direct connection means this is protection diode, this side connected to the ground, what about this two MOSFETs, this one basically are switches as you can see, are switches. Okay, if you understand, as I told you, the process, you can analyze and understand any circuit. Okay, here we have another board. Okay, we have another board, just to understand 100%. Let's check this board, for example. Okay, we can even go a little bit deeper. How? Here, as you can see here, we have this circuit and we have this S. Uh, I teach you 
yesterday that the coils you can identify the coils okay belong to which circuit and of course these two coils are for the cpu okay i can just make like this and this i get continuity means this coil has the purpose of to generate plus vcc coil and also of course if i put one probe here in this coil here and go to the ic okay and go to the ic and check the component around the ic i should get a continuity why okay let's first find the continuity i should find a continuity here somewhere here i should find a continuity Okay, because this tip is thick, I cannot, I cannot put it here on the IC directly. No problem. We don't, we don't find continuity. Okay, but we can uh, basically check between the IC and the MOSFETs. Let's check MOSFETs. Okay, I have this MOSFET here. Okay, okay, as you can see. Because this capacity is connected to IC. Do you see the trace? See, we have connection. So the IC connected to this MOSFET, to this capacitor, this capacitor connected to this MOSFET, and then this MOSFET connected to this coil. So this IC belongs to this circuit. And of course, if the IC is not powered, you have to check MOSFETs and the IC of course so this is guys this is basically how to check the ic or the mosfet and basically identify the circuits components so thank you very much uh, my friends i appreciate your 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 attention if you have any comments you are very welcome uh, two minutes to three minutes I will stop the stream uh, because I have another stream with the channel members. So, do you have any question? Okay, I will. I will check if there is any question. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Basically, there is not any technical question I have to, to answer. So thank you very much and see you with another live or video after. Thank you very much. And, and as I told you, if you want to enjoy more exclusive content, you can join the channel membership or join for in depth basically uh, learning you can join my patreon page thank you very much